ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان احسن الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار indeed all praises due to allah we praise him we seek his aid his assistance and his forgiveness we seek refuge with Allah from the evils of our souls and from the evils of our actions as muslims we believe that whomsoever Allah guides they want to misguide and whomsoever Allah chooses to misguide due to a perversion or a disease in the heart they is none to guide i bear witness that there is nothing which has the right to be worshiped except Allah alone without any partners and i bear witness that muhammad bin abdullah alayhi salatu was salam is his slave and his final messenger the best speech is the speech of Allah the best of guidance and examples is the guidance and example of the noble messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the worst of all affairs are the newly invented matters every newly invented matter into the actions of worship and religion are an accursed innovation every innovation is guidance every misguidance with its adherence in the hellfire <coughs> there's a narration from Hudayfa bin Yaman radiyallahu anhu reported by Bukhari and Muslim in the Sahihain in which Hudayfa bin Yaman said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stood in front of us and he left no event from the signs of the day of judgment unmentioned up to the beginning of the hour itself they are those who have knowledge of it and they are those who are ignorant of it then afterwards i would see a matter that i had forgotten from the signs of the day of judgment and then remember it as if a man remembers another man who was absent from him he sees him and then he recognizes him so the messenger of allah alayhi salatu was salam by the revelation that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down upon him that he spoke from that which was inspired upon him as allah has stated in the quran wa ma yantiqu anil hawa in huwa illa wahyun yuha that he does not speak from his desire but rather it is revelation that is conveyed unto him So the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam informed the ummah and his companions he informed them of the signs of the hour and in order that the believers and that mankind recognize that there are certain indications and certain signs that will come about that indicate that the hour is about to come and their reckoning is coming closer and the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself was from the signs of the hour in that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent him as the final messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he sent him to the ummah which would be the greatest ummah on yawm al-qiyamah and the best ummah from amongst the umam the best nation from amongst the nations and likewise the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his own time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the ability for the splitting of the moon and Allah has mentioned this in the Quran with regard to the splitting of the moon and therefore the hour coming close and from the signs of the hour that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam indicated and mentioned that we have iman in and we believe them as if even though they haven't occurred that we have certainty that indeed they would occur and they will occur by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because our messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam has informed us that there are certain signs that will occur that if mankind takes heed of them that he will realize that one day he is going to be reckoned and from the signs that Allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam has mentioned 
is the sign that ignorance will become widespread and knowledge will become hard to source, hard to seek due to the death of the ulama as the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith report in the sahih of Imam al-Bukhari that he said that Allah does not take away knowledge by stripping it from the hearts of the people but rather Allah takes away knowledge by the death of the ulama so much so that they pass away and then the people take the juhala the ignorant ones as their leaders and they seek rulings from them and they give rulings leading themselves astray and leading the people astray so from the signs of the hour is that ignorance will become widespread and that knowledge will decrease and the speakers will become many and the scholars will become few from the signs of the hour also is that killing will increase and more and more people will get killed to the extent that it is reported from the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa that a person will get killed and he does not know and the one who kills diseases that have not been seen before and likewise from the signs of the hour so that
that when Isa when Isa Isa bin Maryam قبل ابو حكيم
And the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed the companions that in the The narration that he will come from Khurasan, which is modern day Iraq, and he will come out of there. Said to protect themselves by the rest
his own powers. And because he said, in the first year of that famine, of his provision. The sky to withhold to withhold all of the rain. Subhanallah, just as food sustains them. So when did the Mudari saw him. He saw that his that his legs were chained. forbidden him from killing anyone without his permission. So then they will take him to the Dajjal. And then the Dajjal will take him 